Hey, what's up, YouTube? Matt from the Gold Bros. Coming to you guys into the video today. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys, I guess, a new glove to me. This uh, Academa, I think it's ProSoft Series. ProSoft Series AH0224. This glove, I didn't trade or sell for it or anything. Uh, me and Marco went to go hit at our uh, varsity field. Well, his varsity field, my former varsity field. And while we went there... We went to the bench to go uh, put on our cleats and everything, and then we happened to stumble upon this glove. Uh, we didn't. We know it's not anyone on his team. Uh, he brought it to the field, um, asked anyone on all the high school teams because uh, JV and varsity share a field house, and then uh, freshmen also like they have like a separate room. And he asked everyone, said it wasn't theirs, so uh, we ended up just taking it. So here you go, guys. I mean, here it is. The Academa Pro Soft 13 inch outfielder's mitt. I mean, this is this is a funny glove. Um, just for the fact of like how flimsy it is. Like it is the, no doubt the flimsiest glove we own. Uh, I'm trying to show you guys the palm. Academa logo somewhere in there. It's pretty dirty. I'm probably just going to condition it. Um, I don't think I'm going to sell it or trade it because I don't think any, this thing really has any value. It's like a, basically like a gold glove elite. I actually hold it three in the pinky. It feels super comfortable. I was watching um, a lot of what pros wear videos lately. And a couple of them were talking like how they go like three in the pinky. And I was like, wow, it sounds uh, pretty cool actually. Because like when you think about it, it really, it gives it like a super cool close. Like it goes uh, thumb to pinky like perfectly. And it makes this like nice square pocket in here. And um, it's really nice. Kevin Pilar, I believe, does it. Um, he's the one who I learned it from, and then he also used an Academa. Um, he never actually says what Academa model he used because he switched to um, Rawlings. So he talked that like, he switched to the Pro 303, which is like the most common outfitter's glove in the pros. So um, this is an interesting glove. It's kind of funny just to have. We just like play catch with it. So you can tell like it's like super duper floppy. Marco's been using it to like shag flies and BP and stuff just so we, we don't use like the nice gloves. He's not using like his custom or anything and not putting excess wear on it for no reason. Um, glove's a nice looking glove. It's just all black and gray. Um, Academa is a big brand by us because the factory is in South Jersey. So we're in, I would say we're in like central to North Jersey. So a lot of people, like, I know, like, are Academa dealers. Like, my college coach is actually an Academa dealer. Uh, when I was a freshman, he actually gave me a free Academa catcher's mitt. And I, like, sold it on eBay. I was like, I don't want this shit. Um, I mean, the gloves aren't terrible. Like, their best series isn't that bad. This is two of the pinky. It's pretty broken in, obviously. Um, their best series, the leather isn't bad. Like, the, they have, um, I think they have a Pro Soft series. A Precision Series, and then a Torino. A Torino is like their best one. Their custom is like 320, so like you're on like the same ship as like a, a custom hard to hide. Honestly, the leather isn't bad, um, but the catcher's mitts are garbage because they do like they have this special thing. It's called the praying mantis pattern. I don't know if any of you guys have ever seen it. Uh, sorry, it's extremely awkward. I hated it. Like the first time I tried it on, I was like, I don't want this. This is garbage. Um, but I've felt like other people's like broken in ones. Like these, like the Pro Sauce, are actually not that bad. This is actually a pretty comfortable pattern. Um, I think it's like very similar to a Pro 303 pattern. Uh, it's got the nice H web on it. The lace on it's absolutely garbage. It's like paper thin. Um, this one's like it's like hard as a rock over here, and then it's like super soft to the touch here. I don't know whose glove this is, but I think it's pretty cool that we found it because we never find anything. So. Like, one of Marco's teammates went to a tournament at Diamond Nation and found, like, a, I'd say, like, a 9.5 out of 10, 1786. It is, it is a dime. He ended up, like, selling it, and then he got the Marucci. I don't know if you guys have seen it on our page. Um, he has a smoke Marucci. It's gorgeous. But, yeah, we never get lucky. So, I mean, like, this is not obviously, like, a big money thing. I don't think we're going to sell this. I mean, if someone offered me, I'd probably... Uh, like maybe take a cash offer but i kind of like having this um if you guys saw i did actually play right field for a couple innings in our first scrimmage because we had like two guys get hurt and a couple guys 
uh, didn't suit up because it was just a scrimmage. So we do like kind of like a split squad uh, for scrimmages, like pro teams do. But since we don't have that many guys, we just don't suit certain guys up so they can really take a true rest day um, in the spring. So when that happened, a couple guys weren't suited up. I was like, man, I got this. I got to right field. On my Giancarlo Stanton flow out there. Psych. I went like over three that game because I suck. But I used um, the Brian out there, which was hilarious because the Brian's like not even broken in yet. So playing outfield with it was so funny. Uh, just warming up was a blast. But no thank God nothing got hit to me. But um, I do like having this though because like in slow pitch softball, like we like rotate positions every inning because we just like mess around. So maybe I'll ask to play a couple innings in the outfield. And uh, use this. I would bet it's perfect. I just don't have a softball with me right now. I'm about to run out to a game, actually. So I don't have any softballs with me. They're all in my bag or in the field house. And the bucket of softballs that I have is in my truck. Because I had BP the other day. So I don't have any with me. But it obviously is going to swallow it. It's a massive floppy 13-inch. Um, after this year, I might actually relace it. I might do it myself. And do it like, really slowly. Because I want to learn how to relace. Um, but if I do relace it... I'm not going to release it with the same way back here. Uh, these are obviously all cool. This one I hate. I don't like how it does this. I like it on how in other gloves it goes over. And then it's like the, the normal pattern. And it's not a huge fan of this way. I just feel like it doesn't stretch like I like. I like to stretch my fingers on all my gloves. I don't know about outfield gloves since I've never really like played outfield before. Played outfield in like, like all-stars when I was like 12 years old. But like we were just kids. We didn't know anything about gloves. I, I wore like an... A, 11 and a half inch H web in left field. It was a stud back then. Now I suck, but you guys know that already. So, probably give this thing a quick conditioning actually, just because it's a lot of this hurting in here. <laughs> so, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, comment, like, subscribe. Also, drop some video ideas. We're always open to hearing what you guys have to say. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment, like, subscribe. And until next time, have a good day.